Thank you very much, Peter Hinson, for a huge amount of inspiration. We are here now officially with the hydrogen session. And so this is part two our, of our meeting. And actually to talk about hydrogen, where the technology is at today, but also what our experiences have been at Solaris and what our offer is when it comes to hydrogen buses. There will be two presenters. Katarzyna Morska is our regional sales manager. She's been in the department for over seven years. Kasia prepares offers and manages contracts for German speaking markets. And so that's not just Germany, but also Austria and Switzerland. Romuald Witkowski will also be there. He's the project management deputy director. Since 2016, he's been responsible for coordination of hydrogen activities. And it was part of zero emission strategy here at Solaris. Uh, so he was actually deploying first buses on road. And so let's hear where we are today when it comes to hydrogen from those two. Welcome everyone. Will the hydrogen as fuel will soon become one of the basic elements of transport systems? The advantages of hydrogen as energy carrier are undeniable. Due to its energy density and lightness, this element can be a source of clean energy in vehicles. Thanks to the fuel cell that acts as a miniature hydrogen power plant, the bus can cover a minimum of 350 kilometers on a single refill. All this in zero emission mode. Hydrogen-powered vehicles are also an excellent choice for those transport operators who have access to hydrogen from industrial processes. Looking at how quickly the technology is developing and how the interest of operators is growing, it seems that hydrogen cells have great potential to accelerate the decarbonization of transport. When we consider the scale effect, we can expect that with the increase in supply and subsidies, the availability of hydrogen as a fuel will grow dynamically. At the same time, cost will decrease, the cost of the gas itself, as well as the infrastructure and the vehicles. Katarzyna, could you tell us please, when to use hydrogen? Of course. Hydrogen fuel cells are relatively small in size and generate electricity on board of the vehicle. Therefore, they are a perfect solution when it is necessary to ensure a large range as well as for vehicles that require high loads. Refueling with hydrogen is a short and convenient process. It is very similar to refueling the vehicle with gasoline. Hydrogen buses can be used both in the city and on more demanding routes. They are a great solution for the customers that need flexibility. But the biggest challenge from the operator's perspective is still the relatively high cost of the hydrogen bus compared to battery once one. It is still new technology. Another issue is limited hydrogen resources. Hydrogen is rarely found in pure form and must be produced. At the moment, the cleanest way is electrolysis. But despite the challenges, hydrogen certainly has great potential to be used on a large scale, especially since it is supported by many EU projects. Last year, European Union decided on a new hydrogen strategy. One of these elements is to build the infrastructure to produce hydrogen on a mass scale. By 2030, it is planned to produce 10 million tons of hydrogen from renewable sources. A key challenge is undoubtedly the still small number of refueling stations, which is about 200 of them. Another thing. There is still a lot of work to be done in terms of standardization and legislation. It is also necessary to support the technology through subsidies and financial support systems. However, as told before, the European Union support to, to the technology has recently grown. Hydrogen is to be one of the main steps on the way to CO2 neutrality in 2050. Despite the many challenges, this technology has real potential to transform the future of the energy industry and the transport. Yes, and in the city bus industry, the hydrogen transformation is already happening. With technological progress, the number of hydrogen buses bought by carriers in Europe is increasing. We can expect that within a decade, the share of hydrogen powered vehicles among buses will amount to nearly 15%. 
Technological development is also supported by the extremely dynamic growth in the field of electric buses. Hydrogen buses are still electric vehicles. They use the same components and take advantage of the technological development in the industry. The difference is that they have a small hydrogen power plant on board. At the moment, we can talk about purchases of almost 400 hydrogen buses to almost 30 cities in Europe. Most of them are under implementation. Almost one fourth of this amount are buses of Solaris brand. Additionally, there are many other cities where carriers have major purchasing plans related to hydrogen technology. Everything indicates that the hydrogen bus market will develop dynamically. And we can expect that the hydrogen itself will become the fuel, drive, fuel driving the development of electromobility. Europe is one of the fastest growing regions in the world in the fuel cell technology. There are many projects in the EU to support and accelerate technological progress in the field. The Union operates mainly through the organization Hydrogen Europe. This influential association brings together more than 100 companies and organizations investing in hydrogen. Romwald, could you tell us a bit more about these activities? Of course. One of Hydrogen Europe's most important projects are the Jive projects. They aim to introduce buses with hydrogen technology as well as refueling infrastructure to European countries. The Jive projects has deployed nearly 300 fuel cell buses in 22 cities across the Europe, the largest deployment in Europe to date. Merlin is the project that supports the implementation of the hydrogen ne necessary infrastructure. Another initiative in which Solaris participates is EU-founded project STAS HH. Project promotes and standardizes solutions in the field of hydrogen technologies used in heavy-duty applications. The Clean Hydrogen Alliance, on the other hand, is a last year's initiative within the European Commission. Its goal is to develop an investment program to stimulate the production and use of renewable and low-carbon hydrogen. Solaris is actively working within the subgroup dedicated to mobility. Together with other entities, we are supporting the development of the best solutions for the EU energy transformation towards a climate-neutral economy. The development of technology is also accelerating thanks to the strategies of individual countries. Their plans are to create ecological hydrogen production and developing the necessary infrastructure. When it comes to infrastructure, currently more than 200 stations are available across Europe and another 100 are under construction. And while the number may still not be impressive, we can expect a huge acceleration in this area in the coming years. This means that current infrastructure gaps soon will no longer be a barrier to deployment of hydrogen buses. The introduction of hydrogen vehicles is definitely worth considering now. Let's tell a bit about our experience in the field. Solaris started working on hydrogen technology almost 10 years ago, so has been involved in the development from, of the technology from the very beginning. We strongly believe that this is one of the ways to make the transport sector green. Solaris gained its first hydrogen experience by designing battery vehicles that use a fuel cell to increase range. Two vehicles of this type have been delivered to Hamburg. The concept for these buses was to use traction batteries as the main energy storage. The hydrogen fuel cell served only as a source of additional energy replenishment on board. The Solaris Trolina 1875 trolley buses delivered to Riga have a similar operating principle. These unique vehicles use as many as three sources of energy, the catenary, batteries, and additionally a hydrogen fuel cell to increase the range. In 2019, we presented the first fully hydrogen bus. In this vehicle, hydrogen is the main energy source. Electricity in the hydrogen cell is created by reverse electrolysis and is transferred direct, directly to the drivetrain. To this day, Urbino 12 Hydrogen is the most technically advanced vehicle in our portfolio. The speed of technology development can be truly impressive. Only a few years ago, hydrogen vehicles were mostly prototypes. Today, two years since the premiere, we have sold 84 buses of this type, 
ordered by carriers from eight European countries. In some of them, Solaris hydrogen buses are already carrying passengers. And let's take a closer look at the individual hydrogen bus contracts. We have delivered 12 hydrogen range extender vehicles. In 2014, two units of Solaris Urbino 80.75 uh, electric buses were supplied to Hamburg. And in 2080, we delivered 10 trolley buses with hydrogen range extender to Riga. Italy's Bolzano is the first city which purchased Solaris Urbino 12 hydrogen buses. All 12 of them have already been delivered to the city. The order also includes an eight-year service contract, as well as special training for drivers and service personnel on aspects on safe use and servicing of hydrogen vehicles. Only three stations are available in, it in Italy, but the Bolzano facility is more than enough to support the buses. In March 2020, we won two orders to supply a total of 25 hydrogen buses from German carriers Köln and Wuppertal. The deliveries are in progress. 10 buses were ordered by transport operator in Wuppertal and 50 units by Regionalverkehr in Köln. The project has a special ecological focus. The hydrogen used in the buses is a byproduct of the Hurt chemical plant. Previously, it was simply disposed of. Today, Thanks to the hydrogen buses, it is being used in a sustainable public transport. Germany is the European leader in the area of refueling stations. There are currently 99 stations there and many more are planned. With this number of stations, large, large deployments of buses are possible. Later this year, 20 units will be delivered to Dutch operator Connection, providing transport services for the province of South Holland. What is more, Solaris Urbino hydrogen buses have already been ordered by carriers from Lyon, Vienna, Sandviken and Konin. Solaris has also signed a framework agree agreements with the Austrian OBB Postbus and with a carrier from Hamburg. The hydrogen bus of our brand enjoys great and growing interest from carriers in Europe. Due to this growing demand, we have demonstration fleet of hydrogen buses at customers' disposal. We can arrange test and presentation for operators interested in hydrogen technology. Importantly, we can also arrange mobile hydrogen refueling stations for customers who do not have infrastructure yet. The demonstrative Urbino 12 hydrogen is almost constantly on the move. On the map, we have shown the cities it has visited since its launch in 2029. We meet most often with positive feedback about the bus itself. All opinions and feedback are taken into account by our designer team. We present some of the opinions that came to us after presentations and tests of the bus. What makes us especially happy, the innovative and ecological bus is highly appreciated by the drivers and by passengers. The advantages of hydrogen as a fuel are undeniable. It seems that it will be one of the fastest growing segments of mobility in the coming years. With the growing interest from careers, many are also making serious purchasing plans related to hydrogen technology. It can be expected that many tenders for the supply of hydrogen-powered buses will be announced in the near future. Already in 2022, we will present an articulated hydrogen bus, which will be equipped with the latest technical solutions. This will be an important step in our hydrogen development. Thanks to the hydrogen-powered buses, we want to be prepared for the challenges of modern public transport. We do not know exactly what transport of the future will look like. We know, however, that it will be based on electric drives. In line with our vision, battery and hydrogen technology complement each other perfectly. That is why we are investing in the development of both power sources. We believe that both will be the fundament of the public transport of the future. Today, we are ready to provide zero emission solutions in a very wide spectrum. We believe that there is no one way to zero emission transport, but might be several of them. Thank you for your attention. It was a pleasure that we could share our hydrogen experience with you. Thank you.